Hey there guys, OGM here, welcoming you back to another episode of Pokemon Leaf Green. So guys, in the last episode, we did something that I don't remember. It has been so long since I last recorded this. So uh, let's just see what we've got going on in our Pokemon. Uh, we got Millie. I do remember doing this over winter break before that ended and school got crazy. Uh, I leveled up Millie to get with everyone else. However, with that being said... Uh, guys, we're going to a Psychic Tech Gym. This is going to be very problematic for Millie, but we're going to do our best anyway. So, uh, also, we have our little Eevee here, too. And, uh, I have a little bit of a plan for our Eevee. In case you guys do not know, Eevee... Well, not Eevee, but a Water-type Pokemon is necessary in order to complete this game. Because there is an island that you have to get out to that has a gym on it. Now, it's kind of spoiler-ish, but there, it's a thing, and you're going to have to do it. So, since you guys said that you did not want... Lapras on our team. We're gonna make Eevee Well, if you guys don't know by now a water stone makes a water type Pokemon and the water type of Eevee is a I'll just let the game explain it for you Yes guys One of the most beloved evolutions congratulations your Eevee turned into a Vaporeon Alright guys, with that, we now have Vaporeon on our team, our very first Water-type Pokemon. However, because we got it so late in the game, it's not going to be very, like, very helpful. It's going to learn a couple good moves here that'll save us in one of the gyms later, but uh, that's really all it's going to do at this point. However, we're going to go up here beside the gym that we got Millie from, and we're actually going to show off Millie a little bit. We're going to uh, give him a little bit of a... Uh, a little bit of screen time, show him off, and show that he is the uh, Piston Punching Hero like he's supposed to be. But uh, actually, I have an idea. Let's go up. Let's just try to avoid as many battles as we can. But I don't think... Yeah, we can't go up again, and down's probably just going to take us back. So we're going to have to go left. We're going to have to fight this guy. Sir, hello. Talk to me. Tell me how much that you suck at Pokemon, and tell me that you want to fight me. Because, sir, I will gladly fight you and destroy your face. With Millie, a fighting-type Pokemon. How does it work? I don't know. Just go with it. I will show you. Look at that. Millie is a fighting type Pokemon. Yeah, I know that fighting types give you a 1.25 because it's the same type of a move. However, Psychic is resistant to fighting. And look at that. Two Sky Uppercuts and Mr. Mime is dead. That's how strong our Millie is now. So thank you, Millie, for proving a point here. However, with that being said, unfortunately, we now have to face a Kadabra. Uh, well, we have Ice Punch, Fire Punch, and Thunder Punch. Guys, those are all physical attacks. Same with this one. So, if, like, he puts up a barrier or something, we're gonna have a little bit of a problem. However, we just one-hit that Kadabra in the face. Yeah, that's right. Two hits. One to his face, one to the ground. And we have already won. But, uh, we're gonna actually go left. And then, uh... Hmm... I don't like this guy. He looks like he's been in jail. I mean, look at his jumpsuit, but it's fine. We'll fight him. Why not? Inv- uh, Invict? No, Convict. Why did I say Invict? I was like trying to say Endmate and Convict. Invict. Have at me, Invict. I'm so... I'm so something I make up my own words. I'm so professional I make up my own words. You don't know. But it's fine, whatever. Millie will one-shot Kadabra in the face once more, and uh, we will get all of the XPs and uh, level up, actually, because we are the best around. But here we go, guys. Slowpoke. Now, this will actually give us a little bit of a chance to show off another one of his moves. Thunder Punch. Slowpoke is a water psychic type. So, with Thunder Punch, it's going to be super effective, but look at that. Again, granted, he is a water-type Pokemon. That still shows Millie's strength. Look. Two hits. Again. Granted, this one was even super effective. And he still dies. That's how strong Millie is. If you guys were doubting me getting Millie, a couple of you were actually. There you go. Millie has proven himself in just these couple of battles alone. Millie is doing fantastic, actually. But uh, enough about me, like, singing Millie's praises. Let's actually show off another one of his moves. Let's show off Ice Punch. Also, speaking of Ice Punch, that brings up a little bit of a story. A couple of you guys have been asking me in the comments, as well as my streams, um, what is my 
favorite type of Pokemon. Uh, guys, I really don't have a favorite type, so to speak. However, as you guys know, Eevee is my favorite type of poke or not my favorite type. Eevee is my favorite Pokemon. Glaceon specifically is my favorite evolution, and thus being my favorite Pokemon of all time. So, with Glaceon being my favorite Pokemon, I guess that makes me partial to Ice-type Pokemon? I, d I really don't know. I don't really have a favorite type. But, I mean, if you want to, like, say because Glaceon's my favorite type of Pokemon, or because he is my absolute favorite Pokemon, I guess you could say that Glaceon is my type. So, Ice, I guess, is my favorite type of Pokemon. If you want to go off of that. I don't know if that's really what you're looking for, but if that was, then uh, hopefully that solved that question for you. Also, I do believe we just went in a circle. This is, uh, very problematic, because this is the very first guy that we fought, right? And we went up first, because we didn't want to fight him. So let's go down. And, uh, hello, lady. Uh, you're new. Hmm. But I guess we'll try to go over again. Lady, talk to me. Tell me how much you hate me. Because I'm sure you hate me, too. Also... She has no eyeballs. Did you guys see that? She had no pupils. She had like little red dots where her pupils should be, but she had no pupils. That was a bit disturbing, actually. That was... That's actually something of nightmares. That could give all of the kids nightmares. Uh, <laughs> happy Halloween? Not really. It's actually the middle of summer. Well, not even the middle of summer. It's like the middle of spring, actually. So, uh... <laughs> October is far from here. But unfortunately, I'm pretty sure Millie's about to die here. Also, we didn't die to a second type Pokemon. We died to a ghost type. That's how OP Millie is. Not really OP. But he thinks he's OP because, I mean, that's something that Millie would say. But after all, we're, we're just going to keep uh, knock, uh, setting them up and knocking them down, right? I was going to say knock them down and set them up, but that wouldn't make sense. They're not set up yet. Whatever, it works. Just go with it. Venusaur is now level 45. And we're going to face a Haunter. Haunter! It's an interesting type of Pokemon. Uh, it definitely has that scary hand thing going on here. Nice. Thank you, Venusaur, for being very good, I guess, against this ghost. Hopefully another Razor Leaf and he should be dead. Should being our keyword. We've had some very close calls on this Let's Play so far, where you guys have seen like they've made it with just one HP, and it's like, are you kidding me? And then I kind of cry myself to sleep a little bit that night, but whatever. Alright, so we did that. Let's go left again, and then we're here. We fought this guy. That's the guy with the crazy jumpsuit, so let's go down. And now we're here. Uh, hmm. Let's try up. That's, that's not it. Look, these ones are different compared to everything else. So this has to be, like, the room right before the lady that owns the gym. So I wonder if I can sneak by. Oh, I did, actually. Down? Not down. Maybe down again. Not down again, because now we're back at the original check. Okay, up, and then we'll go up one more time. Uh, let's try up this time. And that got us here. Hmm. Lady, I see you over there. You're just teasing me. How do we... How do we do this? Hmm. There's got to be something somewhere. I don't know if, like, entering the teleporters either affects it, but I don't think it does. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think we've been here. Let's try going just straight left. I understand that we're in a battle right now. However, let's just go straight left. And then maybe we can get to Sabrina. Also, Slowbro. If we had Millie, we would destroy the Slowbro like it's our job. However, with it still being water, we should be able to do fairly well with Venusaur. Nice. One hit because we got a critical. I will take that. That is fantastic. Well done. Well done. Alright, let's see. Let's just go straight left, like I said. And then we're back here. Wait. Oh, we're in the corner. We've already been here. Hmm, this 
this is confusing. I really don't want to, like, spend the whole episode in here. Oh, there we go. I will take that. Okay, that works. Hello, Sabrina. I do remember your name from the last episode. Even though it was, like, forever ago. I'm just that good at remembering things. Not really, actually. Uh, I just remember the gym leaders. That's all I think I really remember. Alright, Kadabra, guys. Just like before, we would normally just punch its face out. However, this time, unfortunately, just like Millie, Team Dog here is very, very much so at a disadvantage. However, it looks like we're going to hopefully just be able to cut it down to size before it really does any real damage to us. So, uh, yeah, there we go. I will take it. That's one of Sabrina's Pokemon down. However, Sabrina has four types of Pokemon here. That's what I was going to say. Next up is Mr. Mime. There is one Pokemon that I know that she has that I remember killed me as a kid and I remember I was stuck on it forever not even kidding oh my this is not good uh here I've got a brilliant uh what the heck oh oops that could solve the problem how appropriate uh, a perfect time for my controller to die would be here in a boss battle. What the heck? It's fine. We will defeat Mr. Mime and uh, the rest of Sabrina's Pokemon like it's our job. But yeah, it's okay. I mean, this is on a like a DS, a Game Boy, whatnot. I just had to uh, like plug it in, charge it. I mean, obviously, I'm doing it while it charges and everything. However, with that being said. It's fine, it works, it's just, uh, that's, I was like, really, I have to plug it in and whatnot, so, it, it, I'm sorry for that little bit of an awkward cut, but that's what happened there, guys. It's okay, I promise. I always hate things like that. It's like, any interruption, like, have it be someone knocking on your door, or, or something like that, something that you don't expect to happen. Whenever it happens, it really throws anyone's commentary off, I'm pretty sure. I mean, especially mine. I mean, maybe not yours if you're a Let's Player and you're watching me. However, for me personally, like, whenever someone knocks at my door or, like, something like that happens, it really throws me off. It's like, oh no, what do I do now? Because you just feel so awkward afterward. However, Sabrina has healed Mr. Mime. I'm pretty sure that's both of her potions. So, well, hyper potions, but whatever doesn't matter we will just burn mr mime until he is a crisp and he dies and we will be the most violent winners in the world maybe maybe i don't care however believe it or not mr mime is still not the pokemon that i'm actually concerned about mr mime is actually the least of my worries actually no there's one now that i'm actually Haley. there's one after this and it's this one actually that i'm least worried about the venomoth we can actually just burn venomoth i mean venomoth's a bug and he's poison. He's not even psychic. He's bug poison. How does that work? I don't know. But whatever. It's fine. Venomoth is dead. Least of my worries. But this one, guys. This is what I was telling you. As a child, destroyed me. Alakazam. First off, I wanted to say, I was always jealous of her because that meant that she had friends. Come to find out, it was a computer, obviously, and computers don't have friends. It's just the fact that the computer knows what it's doing. And it can have anything that it wants because it's made by the game. Well, made by the game makers, rather. Uh, guys, Alakazam is a Pokemon that you have to actually trade for. What you have to do is you have to get your uh, Kadabra, and you actually have to trade it. You, it doesn't matter what Pokemon you trade for, it's just you have to trade a Kadabra to get an Alakazam. And I remember, because if you guys have come to anything that I've done, you guys have always heard that I was a very lonely kid growing up. I had a lot of problems, didn't have friends, etc., so I was just like, uh, how do I get this Pokemon? I want it so bad. And I mean, as you guys can see, it can, well, uh, you can't say it now. I've already killed it. I was going to say it can, it can uh, hold quite a few attacks, but whatever. We did it. Enough about that story. Whatever. I admit it. I didn't work hard enough to win. Your victory has earned you the Marsh Badge. And $4,300. Can't argue that. Marsh Badge makes Pokemon up to level 70 obey you. Stronger Pokemon become wild and ignore your orders in battle. Just don't raise your Pokemon too much to avoid the problem. Wait, take this TM with you. We have reached, or we reached? Received? I can read things. Psyche is a power that's not only a few people have, 
Everyone has six psychic power. People just don't realize it. Well, uh, thank you, Sabrina. However, with that being said, uh, lady, we have to get back, actually. Do you have a teleporter that can get me back? Maybe if I talk to you? No, you don't. Maybe let's just take me directly to the entrance. And, of course, it doesn't. I'm going to have to backtrack, because if I'm going to have to backtrack out of here, I'm going to get lost really fast. Um, up? Uh, down? Maybe. Okay, we're back at this lady. Uh, I'm pretty sure we came from down last time. Oh, wait, no, we didn't. No, we didn't. I remember. We came from one of the side ones. Because I think we actually came from this one. And then we fought her, and I'm pretty sure it's up. And then this is the... Yeah, here we go. Why was that so hard for me to do, but it was easy for me to remember? Because I did it, that's why. And I had to guess it going. It just was trying to remember coming back. Whatever. It worked. We're home. Uh, now we have to go to the next city, which is... Uh, I have no idea. I definitely want to heal, though, because I'd like to get Millie back in the front to give him more screen time, because you guys haven't seen him yet. Well, you saw him at the beginning of this episode, but that's really it. Love to give him some more screen time. I mean, after all, you guys said that you love the Mexican, so, uh, why not, right? Thank you, Nurse Joy. Thank you for restoring a Mexican to full health. Uh, I'm actually going to pull out our map here, and we're going to see where we're going to try to go next. Um, let's see here. What we want to do is... I'm pretty sure the next area we want to go is actually down here. To, uh, Fuchsia City. And that has a Safari Zone as well, guys, so we can get a couple extra Pokemon there. That is amazing. So, uh, I guess the next route would be going here, Route 17, but I think that that's a cycling road, and we don't have a bike. So, how are we going to do this? Hmm. Well, I think it's time, guys, that we go and get a bike, which is here in, uh... Cerulean City, so let's just go straight up and go see how much that bike was, because I don't remember. And maybe we have enough, actually. I mean, I'm pretty sure we died once, maybe? Maybe. I don't remember. However, up here is where they sell the bikes, and so maybe, just maybe, we can get the Pokemon. The Pokemon? We can get the bike that we need. Bellspout, cut this tree. Thank you. Now, where do they sell the bikes? Right here. Sir! Hello, talk to me. How much do you sell a bike for? Wait, what? I, I spammed the A button on accident. One million dollars? What? That's nuts! I've got the bike just for you! Uh-huh. Um... One million dollars for a bike. Sir, I am a ten-year-old here. That's how early a Pokemon trainer can start their adventures is when they're ten years old. How is a ten-year-old supposed to get a million dollars? Holy crap, man. Oh my gosh. Um, well, we're supposed to get a bike somehow. Uh, how do we get a bike? I don't even know. Uh, lady, talk to me. I want a bright red bicycle. Keep it at home so it won't get dirty. Uh, maybe someone inside will tell us how to get a bike? Maybe we have to, like, steal one or something? Good enough for me. After all, you can't put shopping on a bike. No, I don't care about that. Bikes are cool, but they're way expensive. Yeah, man. I'm on, they, they want you to sell your arms, your legs, possibly your soul for it, too. I'm sorry for all your gingers out there. You can't ever have a bike. I I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That was for my friend CJ who's watching this. Uh, sir? Right. Sir? Well, if I get in front of your TV, will you talk to me? No, I was hoping that he was going to yell at me or something. I really want to find out, like, someone in this town has to tell me how to get a, a cheaper bike, or maybe, like, they'll trade one or something. Well, you trade me a bike, sir. You look young. No, you're not going to trade me a bike. Maybe you will. Why would I ask a little kid? I don't know. But, uh, actually, guys, I, I might have to look around. Th this could be a little problematic. Yeah, I know about Bill. We have already seen him. Uh, I don't care about Bill. Lady, do you know? No, you don't know either. 
Alright guys, um, with that actually we're gonna call this episode to a close because I have to look around here and find out where and how to get a bike and as soon as I find out I will uh come right back. So if you guys like what you saw, like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, OGM, signing out.